Hello everyone, this is Meer Shavir, you are watching SSM Lectures. Please subscribe our channel SSM Lectures and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Uh, today's my topic is on the mathematics. I take the content of the mathematics, one of the subjects, beautiful subjects of the mathematics that is complex variables. In higher mathematics, we, uh, this subject is known as complex analysis. So uh, I take the subtopic in, in that very content that is I take today's the functions here. So because it is fundamental belongs as it is complex analysis or complex variable, there is as complex. So this is the subject is generated from very, very uh, root level that is here the numbers, number system that is complex number. So I will take one brief idea here. Uh, introducing this is uh, elementary and there, there is a number system in the elementary mathematics this is known as a natural number so i shaded this is this contains a infinite natural numbers and there is i can take z as a uh, uh, this is symbolized as z uh, what we can say uh, those are infinite domain of uh, um, integers or we can take this or, or represent a second one so we can take o i this is again the integer this is a zahlin or integer and there is another system of numbers this is w and there is again we can call this is q rational number this is the whole number and this is uh, q complement i take as q complement this is irrational numbers set of irrational numbers infinite all such numbers this is a big domain of numbers so this is representation and this is capital r aapne yahi concept jo padha tha this capital r in the previous lectures from up to the 10th uh, standard or 11th 12th so th we are there, there there are infinite domain of infinite real numbers those are every natural number integers whole numbers rational numbers irrational numbers or uh, rash, uh, rash, uh, real numbers so real number is a big domain my concept my view is actually i have to generate the function we have generated already the functions on those such infinite numbers that function those functions are denoted by f of x or f of y so this is the function this is the function generated over infinite domain of real numbers this function is known as real valued function this is known as real valued function. This is real valued function. It has got second name. Why so real, real valued function? Because it is generated over infinite real numbers. This is my point of view. We generated the function, but are infinite real numbers. So this has got the uh, second name as, this is known as uh, single valued function single valued function single valued function now my domain here is now we have to generate there are so many functions so one content of, uh, why we can say this is the function because it uh, uh, it satisfies one such condition of mathematics one rule of mathematics important so that that rule is actually each element of the domain must have unique image in the codomain. Each element of the domain must have unique image in the codomain. So then we say that this is a function generated over infinite real numbers. So we call this function as a real valued function. This one, this was previous. Now my uh, today's topic is based upon the complex variables. So there is again the function, but that function is never generated over those infinite real numbers we have the second domain of such numbers generated that complex function this is that domain so it this domain always contains infinite numbers again we call that number as symbolized as the c i shaded because whenever i shade c it means it contains infinite numbers but not real numbers only but uh, we call those as complex numbers this is denoted by as symbolized from the very 11th 12th standard we take x is equal to z is equal to x plus of iota y so this is the real part of z complex number this is the imaginary part of the z i i take all such infinite numbers of complex numbers inside c this is z1 z2 z3 and so on so those are infinite numbers 
and there is generated similar in similar fashion there is generated a function like this we generated f of x or f of y over real numbers over real numbers but here we generate the function this is here f of z why we call this is f of z because there is the symbolization z z is a complex number z is a complex number we generated a new function over complex infinite domain of complex numbers so we generated new function this is known as complex function Today's topic is actually complex function. Complex function. So, here a very beautiful, beautiful question will come. What is actually complex function? So, it always satisfies that rule. That rule of mathematics as in case of real numbers. This function f of x and f of y satisfies. So, we call this f of x and f of y as real valued function. So, but this is a function f of z. It always satisfies that rule of mathematics. But in different domain. Here is the domain of infinite complex numbers. And that function is denoted by f of z. So, so this it always satisfies that rule. What is that actually the rule? Rule is each element of the domain must have unique image in the codomain in both the cases in both the cases now now my question is actually what is complex what is complex function so my top my question first question I take it what is complex function I will write first this is what is complex complex function This is the question here. I have to answer this. What is complex function? I will give you the very simple definition of a complex function. So the idea is if this is generated over complex number, this complex number has got, this is of the form x plus of iota y. Many books write z is equal to a plus of iota b, whatever. The symbolization may be. But there is the concept of real part of this z and imaginary part of this z. So the, any complex number contains real and imaginary parts. It is real part without iota is x. And this is in front of iota. There is y. So this y is treated to be imaginary, symbolized. Now same is the case for the complex function. What is complex function? If this function is denoted by f of z, it is uh, symbolized like this u plus of iota or times of v. What is actually the concept here? So this was the z is equal to x plus of iota y. Means a complex number. We generated the function f of z. And this is the complex, this becomes the complex function. And whenever it contains real and imaginary parts of this complex number, same is the case, fundamental. This is here u plus of iota. It always contains real and imaginary, imaginary part. Why? Because it is fundamental z contains real and imaginary part. So it implies real part. This is real part of this function, complex function f of z is equal to u. And imaginary part, this function of f of z is v. So without, in front of this iota, we take it. If this is negative, in front, in between u and iota, v, if this is negative, like this, I will explain this idea, u plus of iota times of v. If this is here negative, I will rub up first. So if this is u minus, you can take u plus, in, uh, because the fundamental definition says there must be plus in between u and iota v. You take this minus uh, to uh, here, this is plus iota, this is minus of v, so plus minus is minus again. So, uh, so this keep, uh, remember this thing, so you, you, you can take, this is u, f of z is equal to u plus of iota v, and this is real, real and imaginary parts. So actually, uh, I will say, wh uh, what is complex function? Complex function kya hai asal mein? Complex function mein real part hona chahi or imaginary part. Any such function which enjoys such property having real and imaginary part of the given function f of z, then we call that function as a complex function. Now I will take the short numerical session. My second question uh, that is very important as the fundamental. So if this is complex, it is given. If this is complex, then find the real and imaginary part of such function. If this is complex function, given for complex function, finding real and imaginary part of such function. So that is my next question here. Now the question session, numerical session is, I will give an example here, first example, find. 
find the real and imaginary parts of f of z in the following. The first is, I will take here, this is here, this is f of z is equal to 1 by z. And second question, second part, f of z is equal to e raised to power of z. This is exponential function. So this is, those are the two I will explain. First one, first I will give the solution of the first. My question is finding the real and imaginary parts of the given function f of z. So I take this is here f of z given question, this is 1 by z. So, आपको दो rules याद रखने हैं कितने भी questions होंगे आपके पास हजारों होंगे कितने भी होंगे तो आपको दो rules याद रखने होंगे जब भी आपको real imaginary parts आपको निकालने पड़ेंगे किसी भी function complex function में number one rule number one you must replace z as x plus of iota y x this is plus iota y this is x plus of iota y number one and second one is, you must take f of z. If there is f of z, you can replace this f of z by u plus of iota v. This is very important. So those are the two. I will search. This is here f of z. I must replace this f of z by this, this thing. This is u plus of iota v. I will take this is one. In the right hand side, in the denominator, there is z. So, but I must replace this z by, this is x plus of iota y. I can write x plus of iota y. So this is u plus of iota v. Whenever there is iota in the denominator, this is very important and very important concept. Whenever you will find the iota in the denominator, you must rationalize the concept. You must rationalize the concept. This is very important. Here is the, in the denominator, you will find iota. You can rationalize by taking this is x plus of iota y as it is. And there is, uh, you must multiply this quantity, this in the denominator x and iota y. If this is plus, you can take minus. If this is minus, you will take plus here. So this factor, I will uh, divide this. This is iota of y. I will take continue here. This is, I will multiply one with this quantity. This is x minus of iota y. Whole divided by. Whenever I multiply those two, this is the formula, fundamental formula from the very seventh standard. You can take this one. This is a plus of iota, a plus of b, multiplication of a minus b. So this is the fundamental, this becomes a square minus of b square. So this was, I use this here by multiplying those two factors. So this arises here, x square, this is minus iota square y square. Because I will use again such concept, iota square is equal to minus one. Iota square is minus one. So uh, I will calculate this thing in, in the next board. So I will use the left hand side was actually this is u plus of iota v and the right hand side is x minus of iota y whole divided by this is x square minus of minus iota square y square. I will calculate this is only the just the calculation this is not the new concept. So you, you know from the very 11th this is the very uh, uh, fundamental this is x minus of iota y. This is x minus of iota y whole divided by, what is iota square? Iota square is equal to minus one. What is iota actually? Iota is equal to, this is iota, this is iota here, this is under root of minus one. This is minus one here. I will use this minus one here because there is iota square. So x square, this is x square minus of, this is minus one into y square. This is u plus of iota v. This is x minus of iota y whole divided by this is x square minus plus this is x square. So this is, uh, I will give uh, this part, denominator part, there is no iota. First term and second term in the right hand side, this becomes u plus of iota v. This is x divided by, this is x square plus of y square. This is square here, this is, I will make this negative as positive. This is plus iota, I will write plus, this is iota. I will take this min minus 2, minus, minus ko y ko dunga, this becomes minus y divided by this is x square plus of y square. So now the concept here is, concept is when you have got only two complex numbers, the real, uh, real part is called real part and imaginary part is called imaginary part. 
here is the real part because there is no iota in front of iota there is v as imaginary part there is no in this part there, there is no iota this is real so real is equal to real that means you by comparing from the left and right hand side i come here so this is x divided by x square plus of i square if we will find the value of v v is an imaginary in front of v there is here is the in front of iota there is this concept this whole becomes imaginary so this is definitely the uh, value of uh, v y minus y divided by x square plus of y square so so those are the uh, real and imaginary parts of such a function f of z and same is the case i will give the brief very uh, second part i will give brief idea for such a function so this is here the second part f of z is equal to e raised power of z मैंने तो दो रूल्स कहे थे आप लोगों को कौन कौन सा बाई रिप्लेसिंग दिस एफ ऑफ जेड यू प्लस ऑफ आयोटा वी एंड दिस इज इज पर एंड द सेकंड रूल इज बाय रिप्लेसिंग जेड बाय दिस क्वांटिटी बाय एक्स प्लस ऑफ आयोटा वाई सो यू कैन राइट दिस इज यू प्लस ऑफ आयोटा वी इज इक्वल टू इज पॉर ऑफ एक्स डॉट ऑफ इज पॉर ऑफ आयोटा वाई आप यहां पर बेस एंड बेस और सेम्पावर शुड भी एडिट कर सकते हो ये वापस आएगा फिर यहां पर आपको करना है यू प्लस ऑफ आयोटा वी इसमें आप यूलर्स थर्म का यूज करके यूलर्स थर्म इसमें लगाएंगे आप इस पोर्शन में वो बनेगा कॉस थीटा कॉस थीटा इज वाई हेयर प्लस आयोटा टाइम इज ऑफ साइन ऑफ थीटा Why again? So by comparing, by comparing, definitely you can find the real part is u is equal to e raised power x into cos of y, and v is the imaginary part as uh, e raised power of x into sine of y. This is very beautiful concept of finding the real and imaginary parts of such complex function. So those are the beautiful two questions I explained briefly. Thank you very much.